John Chow here from JohnChow.com, and welcome to another episode of Driving with John Chow. I'm right now headed for lunch. Today I'm going to uh, Chef Hung's Taiwan Beef Noodle over at the Diamond Jamboree. It's, um, they started in Vancouver, and since then they've expanded into America, and Irvine, California is the location of the first, I guess, first U.S. location. It's really, really good. If you're in Vancouver, they got quite a few there. And I believe they got one in Taiwan as well. And they got one here. And we're going to do a dot com lunch there. Anyway, today's topic. I want, to talk, um, I want to talk about lifestyle design. Now, lifestyle design was first coined by Timothy Ferris, author of the 4-Hour Workweek. And he talks about that in his book. Basically, in a nutshell, lifestyle design means creating a lifestyle based on your wants, your needs, instead of having you fit into a mold. For example, most people have their life designed for them. On the other hand, there are people who are able to design a life for themselves instead of having someone else dictate it. The thing is, most people we think that it, creates, it needs a lot of money to do um, what Tim talks about in the book. Like he talks about, you know, traveling the world, see, uh, living in exotic locations and that kind of stuff. And sounds all great and stuff. You know, a lot, remember the last time you've been on vacation, uh, go to the Caribbean or somewhere, and you, you say to yourself, the weather, everything is so fantastic. And you, go, you say, man, I wish I could just live here and be like this every single day. But then you realize you can't because, you know, you had to go back home for a job. Here's the thing. Lifestyle design, or living in dot-com lifestyle, is not as expensive as most people think. The last time I was in Costa Rica, which is about four, I think about five months ago, I met up with a couple of friends there, and one of them actually moved down to Costa Rica. And I want to give you two examples of people who design their life around them. And most people will think that this is like bloody, bloody expensive to do. But here's the thing. It's not that expensive. Uh, let me give you an example. My friend who lives in Costa Rica, his name is uh, Matthew. I got two in Costa Rica. First one, his name is Matthew. He's from the UK. He runs a blog called MatthewWoodridge.co.uk. But he recently, he moved down to Costa Rica from the United Kingdom. And because his business is online, he can do that. He's not, he's not, doesn't have a job in the UK, he runs his blog. He, and when, like me, when you run a blog, you can run from anywhere in the world. So he decided that he visited, he visited the UK, loved the weather so much, loved the people, loved everything, and says, I'm just gonna move down there. And that's what he did, pack everything, move down there. Now, first thing, uh, a lot of stuff you might ask is, man, that's expensive? He goes, no, he's actually saving money. First of all, by moving Costa Rica, it's a lot, the cost of living in Costa Rica is a lot lower than the United Kingdom. It's like five times lower. Uh, the apartment that he lives at down in Costa Rica is only 450 bucks a month. Seriously, that's like five times cheaper than, it, than his place in, 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 uh, in, in England. So, and, and uh, everything else is just a lot cheaper. And the other, the other thing also is uh, taxes. <laughs> See, the United Kingdom taxes his, their, their citizens based on their residency. So if they don't live in the UK anymore, they're not subject to UK taxes. Now, Costa Rica taxes a citizen, well, taxes foreigner based on income as well inside the country. But, in, in a lot of countries in the world, you only get taxed on money you make inside that country. If all your income comes outside the country, then it's not taxable. Well, Matthew's income is not made inside Costa Rica. So suddenly, he's no longer living in the United Kingdom. He's not subject to UK tax. And Costa Rica, well, to Costa Rica, he's, he's just a visitor. And his income is not made inside Costa Rica. So they don't tax him either. So. He doesn't pay any taxes, any. he doesn't pay any income tax anymore. 
So right there, that's another 30% savings in savings in income requirement. So just by moving to uh, another country, he can achieve the same lifestyle on 30% less because he's, you know, that's his tax saving. And the fact that Costa Rica is like five times cheaper than living in the United Kingdom, hey, right? Another, uh, another example, I have another friend, uh, two friends, the Jay Jason and Samantha. They're, they're traveling the world. They're traveling the world. They, they, uh, they were in Costa Rica when I saw them there. Right now they're living in Taiwan. And next month, I'll meet them. I'll meet up with them in Las Vegas for the Affiliate Summit. Now you might think that, you know, traveling the world, living all over the world, it's gotta be expensive. It gotta be expensive. Well, it can be, but it's really not that expensive. If you, if you uh, like I said, we always, I've already shown that Costa Rica is like five times cheaper than the United States and the UK. Taiwan isn't that expensive either. That's what they're living right now. They run a blog as well. It's called my10feet.com. And the blog chronicles their, travel, their travels around the world. Now, here's the thing. That blog makes only around two grand a month. It's not that much. 2,000 bucks a month. But yet that $2,000 a month is enough to live wherever they're traveling. Because I guess as long as they don't come to the United States and stay here, they're actually okay. But two grand a month, two grand a month here is barely above poverty. I mean, seriously, it's, in Orange County, it's next to impossible to live on two grand a month. I mean, it, it truly is. But in places like Thailand, the Philippines, uh, Costa Rica, Two grand a month is a pretty damn good lifestyle. You just gotta basically, you just basically have to go there. But the thing is, most of you cannot go there or most of you cannot pack up and move because their only income source is their job and their job ties them down to one place. So here's the key for lifestyle design. You need to remove yourself as the income source. If you have a, something else that makes the income for you, like a blog, in the case of Matthew and Jason and myself, yeah, but if you have a system that's make, that can make you the money, that allows you to work from anywhere in the world, then you can create a lifestyle designed around what you want. So that's really is the key. And the internet is the most powerful lifestyle design tool available. The internet has done more to liberate people than virtually anything else there is. Like, uh, because of the internet, I'm able to live Anywhere in the world, and and, there, and of all the places in the world, I choose to live here because the climate here, the weather here, the school city, the safety of this community I live in is, you can't beat it, you can't beat it. Yes, it is bloody expensive to live here, but fortunately, I, I make more than enough to cover everything, all right? So, but even at two grand a month, you can afford to live a really, really good lifestyle. But most people, because they live only, they live in America, they figure, and when they go, when they do go on vacation and visit, you know, places like Thailand, Philippines, they stay, they're staying in resorts and stuff where the price is the same as America. So not really assume that, oh man, it's bloody expensive as well, but it really isn't, honestly, it really isn't, all right? So the key, if you're on the internet, the internet will give you the tools and the power to, re you don't need to replace your income because other places around the world, the cost of living is so much cheaper than, than living in America. And you're no longer subject to taxes because you're no longer in that, you're no longer taxing that, you're no longer living in a country, so no one's subject to taxes. And that's all the place you're, you're living in is only tax you if you make money inside a country. You can free yourself of taxes as well. So you don't need as much money as you would imagine. Like in the case of my friend, Jason and Samantha, their blog only makes like two grand a month but they're traveling all over the world, living the dot-com lifestyle, all right? So, take advantage of the internet, guys. You know, take advantage of this guy. Start a blog, read my blog. Look, look, at, look at the stuff that I offer. I teach you how to start a blog. And I teach you how to make money from a blog. Look at MTTV, look at Mobe, look at uh, various, whole bunch of stuff you can do. Whole bunch of stuff you can do. Don't be limited by working at a job and get defined, have someone, have someone else design your life. Design your own life, right? John Shaw from johnshaw.com. I welcome your comment. I'll see you guys on the next episode. And like Sally says, subscribe or die.